It's very important to consult with a lawyer before setting up a business. In establishing a business, there are there are a lot of pitfalls that one can encounter in terms of all the administrative stuff that has to go on with establishing a business. For example, what papers do we need to file? Where do we need to file them at? At the Corporation Commission? Where is that? What documents need to be filed to procure a proper tax identification number? Is there any other uh, documents that we need to uh, fill out or publish with, with the newspapers in order to get this business formally established here in Arizona? That among many is, are a few just among many of the questions that, that people will, will encounter in terms of establishing a business. It's important that before you do that, you consult with an attorney because they are trained in uh, knowing what pitfalls to avoid uh, to save yourself headaches down the road. A classic situation of, of people establishing a business is you get two people, friends, maybe family members, that have a great idea. They want to set up a business. Uh, maybe they, 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 they see a, a service need or maybe a construction need. And everything inevitably is always nice, sunshine and rainbows at the very beginning of the business uh, because everybody's happy and wants to move forward in, in making a successful business that presumably is going to make money for them. Well, inevitably, a year or two down the road, there's going to be some disputes or questions that arise that may cause uh, tension down the road. Maybe one of the partners, with all good intentions, wants to spend more money on, for example, research and development. Or the other partner wants to spend more money on marketing. Maybe one of them wants to spend more on, on uh, buying business product. Well, what do you do in that situation? When, when there's limited resources, who wins? Which partner gets to decide what's going to happen? It's in those situations, oftentimes, that we as lawyers get involved because now there's a, a fight or a potential fight between these two people, and they can get really ugly. It's what we would call a business divorce. Uh, we want to avoid those, and in order to avoid those, it's best to consult with an attorney at the beginning when you're establishing the business. For example, um, we here at Denton and Peterson, because we have experience in establishing businesses and setting them up, we can see and foresee some of these pitfalls because we've dealt with these situations in the past. We know what types of disputes may arise that initial business partners just don't think about. If you're going to establish, for example, a limited liability company, there's a document that's called an operating agreement that a lot of people overlook when establishing a business on their own. That operating agreement is basically a contract between the two members, or three, or four members, however many partners there are in the business, that establishes the rights and the relationship between these parties ahead of time. So that when these questions arise, well, should we spend more money on research and development versus marketing? Those will be addressed in the operating agreement so everybody knows ahead of time. That operating agreement that is established at the beginning of this business relationship avoids potential uh, trials, disputes, and ultimately lawsuits that occur down the road because everybody understands at the beginning what the rights and responsibilities are of each member. It's, it's important that, that before you go into establishing a business that you consult with an attorney who knows and has experience in handling and setting up businesses so that they can avoid pitfalls and problems that are inevitably to occur even in the best of circumstances. And we here at Denton Peterson can do that. We have the experience and knowledge necessary to assist you in this matter.